Wow, it's June already, isn't it? Sam Feely here with you on June 6, 2012 in the Daily Dirtle. Happy 68th birthday, D-Day. As a Celtics fan, I was worried that the referees were only calling the games in Boston more fairly because they were afraid for their lives if they called them the same way in Miami that they did in Boston. But then I see Game 5 last night, and I'm like, well, maybe now they're on their game again. One sketchy call that some people cried foul about, no pun intended, was Dwayne Wade's alleged charge on Paul Pierce. I'm not buying that. Paul was still moving his feet to the side when D. Wade went into him. Overall, it was a pretty well-officiated game. Not nearly as bad as games one and two. I was like, even Italian soccer isn't this bad. We get that you want the heat in the finals. Would it kill you to make it less obvious? Of course, now that I say that, the Celtics are going to feel the pain that the Sacramento Kings did 10 years ago. I guess I was on the wrong side of the Hudson for my Stanley Cup Finals pick, but it doesn't matter anyways because the Kings are up 3-0 in the Stanley Cup Finals. Jonathan Quick is playing out of his mind. I forget, is he allowed? I think he's allowed more than one goal only once all playoffs, and that was against Vancouver. Justin Blackman getting his second DUI in, what, less than a year? And the Jaguars have had enough troubles. But I don't think stuff like this is going to put any more butts in seats than they already are not. Again, it's June 6th, and the Nationals and Orioles are in first place in their respective divisions. So much for spending $11 billion on your payroll, Boston, New York, and Philadelphia. Hey, and out in the Midwest, we conveniently forget that the Reds and Pirates are at the top of the NL Central. Then again, it's easy to forget that the Reds and Pirates are at the top of the NL Central. Want to advertise on the Daily Dirtle or any of LSP's programs? Ads are just $20 a message. Email sam at localsportsproductions.com for more information. Now here's why your mother told you never to play ball in the house in one convenient picture. 